ants in the garden will farm aphids. They will herd them just like cattle and just like sheep to new pasture. Your tender growths on your beans especially and on other plants are going to look like green pastures for their farmed ants and for their farmed aphids. What aphids do is they suck the sap and the life out of your plants. They will uh, make your plant weak and susceptible to disease and they're just nasty. They'll pock, make pock marks all on the, the vegetables or fruit that you're growing and they're just nasty. So we're going to do away with them hopefully today through a couple of different measures. And I am not going out in the garden today, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to make these little aphid traps and talk about what they do and maybe we'll go out in the garden and I'll show you when we put them in. So um, today here goes. First we're going to make the ant traps and hopefully the ant bait stations are going to uh, help kill off the ants so they won't be farming the aphids. Then we're going to make aphid traps that I've heard about and I've never used. So the ant traps work. I've done things like this before. The aphid traps I've heard about and I've seen a couple of other homesteads do something similar so we're going to put some of those together too but here's the ant traps. Good morning y'all. I am going to whip together some ant baits to go in my garden. And I'm going to be using some really inexpensive things that you can purchase really cheaply. I went to the Dollar Tree and bought these. They were like four for a dollar. Little Tupperware containers. They only had these longer ones. I'm sure you could find some square ones if you wanted. It might make it easier. And in these, I'm going to put some of these. These are Raid Ant Baits. And there are eight to a package. I got this at Walmart for around $3. And what I'm going to do, take one of these and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to drill little holes on each side near the base. But right now all I'm going to do is glue these in. And I'm going to hot glue these in and if you can see this doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Now I just, you may not have to glue it in, but I'm just going to take the extra step. I'm going to glue it in here on the bottom with the hot glue gun. Then I'm going to go outside or bring the drill inside. Let me go do that now. Let me get the drill. Okay, I'm back with the drill in hand. When this is going to go into the garden, let me show you something. If I do this with the top up and the holes here in the bottom, then I know that if it rains, this is not going to let any water come in. The water is going to slough off the sides. I could easily do it like this. Glue that on there and put this in. I'll put the holes here. But let me show you. There's a little lip right here that would catch water, condensation, and around this edge catch condensation. So I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to drill. I'm just going to do one for you and we'll get back to the rest of the video. I want to drill this. I'm going to hold some good pressure. I'm not going to push too hard because I don't want to go straight, you know, break it. have a hole. Can you see that? Yeah, you have a hole big enough for the ants to climb in. As this sits on the dirt, that's not going to be too high up, you know, for them to get in. It's going to be right there because they live in the ground. 
It's an ant bait station. If you haven't watched our video on the rat bait station that got rid of my rats that came in. I live by a swamp on one side and a lake behind us and there are rats. I have chickens, I have compost bins, and they like to come out at night and get what the chickens didn't eat. We got rid of those things. So I'm just putting the glue in there and I'm going to force this down on the bottom. Alright, held it for a few seconds and now that is securely glued to the bottom. And it has holes in it. Snap the top on there, and there you go. Okay. Aphid Annihilation Plan Part 2. What on earth does this little yellow child's beach shovel have to do with annihilating aphids? Rumor has it that aphids are very attracted to the color yellow, to a bright yellow. And they'll leave the plants to go climb onto this. Aphids are more on the ground. You see them high up on your plants because the ants brought them up there. But they gather them from the ground. So I am going to slather these, these two little yellow shovels, with petroleum jelly. And I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. You can use whatever kind of petroleum jelly. It does not have to be a name brand. I don't think they're too picky. This is just to get them trapped. They can't get off of it. So I'm going to slather both of these with petroleum jelly on both sides. Then I'm going to find a place to put them in the garden. Okay, so I haven't even been outside for 30 seconds with these shovels. I haven't even hung them up or put the jelly on them. And I want to show you what's happened. See those? Those are aphids. I squished one just to be sure. There's aphid juice. Look down here. They literally jumped off of the plants where they were at. See how they're right here? These are aphids. Nasty little creatures right there. Okay, it's the next morning and I'm checking on these yellow aphid traps we put out here. And honestly, I don't see... There's like two on there. And there's plenty on these beans. Hmm. Let's check this one. Now this one has quite a bit more on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. But still, these beans are covered. This is a heavy infestation. So I'm thinking that the aphid trap was not really an aphid trap at all. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Maybe this infestation is just too big. Maybe if we'd done it at the very beginning, but who knows? Oh well. This is Sherilyn, Just Goodness 333 Little Homestead, and I'm going to sign out of this video because I'm about to do a garden tour, so be sure to tune in for that video. Until later, bye y'all. Happy gardening.